My name is Joan Landers Nidor. I was born and raised in Charles Street. After qualifying as a teacher in 1955, I went to Mullinavat in Mullin, County Kilkenny, where I taught for two years. Then I got a message there was a vacancy for me in Listowel if I wished to take it. So I jumped at the idea and was delighted to be coming home for good. I spent eight have very happy years in Clown Mackham. The children were a joy to work with and the parents were most cooperative. On April the 1st, 1957, I started teaching in Clown Mackham. I travelled to school with Bernie Long for a few days. After that, I cycled to and fro until sometime in 1958. From then on, I travelled with Mr Foley. He started as principal on April the 1st. I had infants in first class. He had fifth and sixth. Bernie went to Killicrim after a week or so, and Teddy O'Sullivan replaced him. God have mercy on him. Maurice O'Connor replaced Teddy. The other teachers I heard of were Mrs. McMahon, who was Brian's mother, Bill Kane, who was John B.'s father, Gan Daly and Marjorie Long served there with Bernie as principal until school was closed in 1975 and the boys came into the Listowel Boys' School. Having girls in my class was new to me and meant I had to teach knitting and sewing to all the girls. We did tacking, running, hemming and top sewing stitches. These were done on little pieces of calico which were placed in a sewing book and kept for inspection by the sewing lady. In sixth class they did a patch, likewise with the knitting, but starting with two needles and little strips with plain and purl stitches, then little squares, purses, and finally in fifth and sixth we started on four needles doing a sock. Turning the heel was a major operation. We had some great moments at that. I think we tried darning as well. Singing I also did for fifth and sixth, and some of the songs I taught were Lovely Listole, Gypsy Rover, Mountains of Morden, Sean South, Hail Gloria St. Patrick, The Homes of Donegal, and a few Christmas carols. I loved preparing the children for First Communion. They are so innocent at that age. Father Dillon was our curate, and he was always very nice and pleasant with them. The practice of going to the rails and back to the seat was done in the hall. We also had mock confession. I heard a lot of funny stories. Throwing stones at the grotto was a very common offence among the boys. Doing the communion breakfast was no hassle at all.